if you go down and you face a no way. He's a top fighter, he's a world champion. Vasily Lomachenko said he would be interested in a fight with Japanese superstar, Monster Naoya Inoue, this at 126 pounds. Of course, it's always interesting fighting with the top fighters. Loma has campaigned as a 135-pound fighter over the course of his last eight bouts dating back to 2018. I had Lomachenko in my top 10 pound for pound when he had, I think it was one pro fight. The Ukrainian has had tremendous success in the division, unifying three versions of the lightweight title before losing them to Teofimo Lopez Jr. in 2020. In my mind, I, I didn't lose any fight in the professional bo uh, boxing. After also winning world titles at 126 and 130 pounds, Lomachenko has predominantly been the smaller fighter against opposition at the lightweight limit. This one, if it happened, would be a real and genuine dream fight. I need to try make 126. Huge puncher versus hugely gifted boxer. After unifying the belts at bantamweight, Naoya Inoue moved up to super bantamweight and won the WBC and WBO belts with an eighth round technical knockout of Stephen Fulton last July 25th in Japan. If Inoue is able to win all the belts at 122, he's expected to move up to featherweight to try and become a three division undisputed champ. The monster is the monster and he's the monster for a reason. A potential fight between Inoue and Lomachenko would be a clash of styles and skills. He's a top fighter, he's a world champion. Inoue's power and aggressive style would be pitted against Lomachenko's technical proficiency and defensive abilities. A little bit more fatigue. Oh, Lomachenko! It would undoubtedly be a thrilling matchup that could go either way. Uh, Inoue is a very attractive fight at 126. <laughs>
have the great flexibility of moving him around among the three divisions. There's a need to see Inoue tested against Loma. It's always interesting fighting with the top fighters. With his level of opposition rising, his skills have been accentuated. Everything he throws is designed to land. This fight is all kinds of intriguing, and here's hoping we get to see it while both fighters are still in their prime. Naoya Inoue and Vasil Lomachenko are two highly skilled and renowned professional boxers in the current era. He has a power. While they excel in their own unique styles, there are both similarities and differences between their boxing skills and techniques. One of the similarities between Inoue and Lomachenko is their exceptional footwork. This footwork allows them to create angles, evade punches, and maintain control of the fight. That also enhances their overall defensive capabilities and enables them to set up their offensive attacks. Another similarity between the two is their ability to generate power punches from their smaller frames. He's a freak of nature. I've never seen punches like that. Despite their smaller stature, both fighters possess tremendous punching power, often knocking out their opponents with devastating blows. Take that area, and that's another one. Lomachenko is known for his exceptional boxing IQ and technical skills. He really is a mastermind with tactics. He is a master at creating angles, utilizing feints, and outsmarting his opponents. By how Loma fights, we haven't seen that maybe since the first young Ali. Inoue, on the other hand, is a more aggressive and explosive fighter, often overwhelming his opponents with his power punches and relentless pressure. But that power comes someplace from deep inside. He constantly pressures his opponents, looking for opportunities to deliver devastating blows. His style is characterized by explosive power and an unwavering determination to finish fights early. Both fighters have previously discussed meeting at 126 pounds, which would represent the upper limit of Inoue's range while being a step down in weight for Lomachenko. It's always interesting to watch uh, on the fighters who, who loves, who respect and who understand boxing. At first glance, you'd think such a weight disparity would heavily favor the Matrix, but don't count the monster out in this one. In the ring, he does what monsters do, wreak physical havoc on someone else. Inoue is the one with true knockout power, as Lomachenko is generally more content to score points than to angle for an early finish. Both of them attacking the body now, Lomachenko going upstairs with that left uppercut. As a result, he might not take full advantage of his larger frame, giving the Japanese fighter a puncher's chance. Also, Loma has spent most of his career at 126 and 130 pounds, and it's those weights at which he seems the most comfortable. I can't to 140. After that, you, you ask me about Tyson Fury and... Uh... <laughs> it has the ingredients for an exciting and explosive bout that could potentially go down as one of the greatest fights in recent boxing history. You probably got to give Loma a little bit of an edge because of the experience factor, but that doesn't mean much. In summary, the potential fight between Naoya Inoue and Vasily Lomachenko has generated a lot of buzz in the boxing world. I need to try make 126. If this fight were to happen, it would undoubtedly be a thrilling clash of styles and could go on to become a legendary bout.